William Faulkner, A Writer's Life William Faulkner was a famous American writer. He was born on September 25, 1897, in New Albany, Mississippi. He grew up in the southern part of the United States. This region influenced much of his writing. His full name was William Cuthbert Faulkner, but people usually call him William Faulkner. Early Life Faulkner's family was important in Mississippi. His great-grandfather, William Clark Faulkner, was a successful businessman and writer. Faulkner's family moved to Oxford, Mississippi, when he was a child. He loved living in Oxford, and it became his home for most of his life. As a boy, William liked to read and listen to stories. His mother, grandmother, and a black woman who worked for his family told him stories. These stories shaped his imagination. Faulkner didn't like school very much, and he dropped out before finishing high school. He tried to go to college at the University of Mississippi, but did not finish. Early career. Before Faulkner became a famous writer, he had different jobs. He worked at a post office, but he was not a good worker. People said he didn't deliver the mail on time, and sometimes he would throw letters away. He lost his job because of this. Faulkner also joined the British Royal Air Force during World War I, but he never went to war. After the war, he returned to the U.S. and started writing. His first book, Soldier's Pay, was published in 1926. It was about soldiers coming home after World War I. The book didn't make him famous, but it was a start. Writing about the South. Faulkner is famous for writing about the South. He wrote many stories set in a fictional place called Yoknipatawpha County. This place was based on his home in Mississippi. He wrote about families who lived there, and he often told stories about poor people and rich landowners. Faulkner's stories showed how the South was changing after the Civil War. One of Faulkner's most famous books is The Sound and the Fury. It was published in 1929. The book tells the story of a family that is falling apart. It is written in a special way that can be hard to understand, but many people think it is a great book. Writing Style William Faulkner's writing style is special. He didn't always use simple sentences. Sometimes his sentences were very long. He liked to explore the minds of his characters. This is called stream of consciousness writing. It means Faulkner showed how people think with all their emotions and thoughts mixed together. Sometimes his stories jumped around in time, moving from the past to the present and back again. Faulkner also used a lot of details in his writing. He described the land, the people, and the history of the South. Because of this, reading his books can be a challenge for some people but they are rich in meaning. Major works. Faulkner wrote many books, and some of his most famous works include The Sound and the Fury, 1929, As I Lay Dying, 1930, Light in August, 1932, Absalom, Absalom, 1936. Each of these books shows life in the South with characters that have complicated feelings. His books often talk about problems like race, family, and history. Faulkner also wrote short stories, plays, and poems. One of his most famous short stories is A Rose for Emily. Nobel Prize. In 1949, Faulkner won the Nobel Prize for Literature. This is one of the most important awards a writer can get. The prize was given to him because his writing had powerful emotions and imagination. He gave a famous speech when he received the prize. In his speech, he said that writers should focus on the heart and soul of people. He believed that stories should be about things that matter, love, honor, and hope. Later life. Faulkner continued to write for the rest of his life. He also taught writing at the University of Virginia. Many students came to learn from him because he was famous by then. However, Faulkner was shy and didn't like to talk about himself much. He preferred to stay at his home in Mississippi. Faulkner had some problems with alcohol during his life, but he still managed to write many important books. He died on July 6, 1962, in Oxford, Mississippi, at the age of 64. Legacy Even though William Faulkner's writing can be hard to understand, many people believe he was one of the greatest American writers. His books continue to be read and studied around the world. Faulkner showed the world what life was like in the South, and he created characters that feel real and complex. Today, people visit his home in Oxford, which is now a museum. 
Faulkner's writing inspires new writers to explore big ideas and emotions. His stories remind us that literature can help us understand each other and the world around us. William Faulkner's Famous Works William Faulkner was a great writer from the United States. He wrote many books and stories. Some of them are very famous. Here are some of his most well-known works. 1. The Sound and the Fury, 1929 This is one of Faulkner's most famous books. It tells the story of a family that is falling apart. The book is special because it shows how different people in the family think and feel. It is a little hard to read, but many people think it is a great story. 2. As I Lay Dying, 1930 This book is about a family traveling to bury their mother. Each chapter is told by a different person, so we get to see how each character feels. The journey is hard, and the family faces many problems on the way. 3. Light in August, 1932 This story is about people living in the South. It talks about race, identity, and love. The book shows how hard life can be for some people, especially when others do not accept them. 4. Absalom, Absalom 1936. This book tells the story of a man named Thomas Sutpen. He tries to build a rich and powerful family, but his plan falls apart. The book talks about history, race, and family in the South. 5. A Rose for Emily, 1930. This is a short story. It is about a woman named Emily who lives alone in a big house. The people in her town are curious about her life. The story has a surprise ending and is one of Faulkner's most famous short stories. 6. Go Down, Moses, 1942 This book is a collection of short stories. The stories are about the same family and the land they live on. The book talks about family, race, and the history of the South. William Faulkner quotes, William Faulkner was a famous writer who said many wise things. Here are some of his simple quotes. 1. You cannot swim for new horizons until you have courage to lose sight of the shore. This means you need to be brave and try new things, even if it feels scary. 2. The past is never dead. It's not even past. Faulkner is saying that the past stays with us, even if we try to forget it. 3. Don't bother just to be better than your contemporaries or predecessors. Try to be better than yourself. He is telling us to always try to improve and be better than we were before. 4. Always dream and shoot higher than you know you can do. Faulkner is encouraging people to dream big and aim for more than they think they can achieve. 5. Given the choice between the experience of pain and nothing, I would choose pain. This means it's better to feel something, even pain, than to feel nothing at all. 6. A writer needs three things. Experience, observation, and imagination. Faulkner believed that writers need to live, watch the world around them, and use their creativity to write. Conclusion William Faulkner was a unique and talented writer. He spent his life telling stories about the South, and he did it in a way no one else could. Even though his style was complex, his stories touched the hearts of many readers. His work will continue to be important for generations to come. Faulkner's life and writing are examples of how powerful words can be. He believed that stories could help people understand their deepest emotions and the world they live in. Even though he came from a small town in Mississippi, his words reached the entire world.